It's Madden NFL 23, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the New York Giants, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New York Giants. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Aldrich Rosas, the Giants kicker, ready to go. And here we go from MetLife Stadium. Here comes Hall. He's going to bring it out. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So here come the Chiefs for their opening drive. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. And he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. They'll start on the ground here on first down. But despite a little sizzle on the move, he's still tackled shy of the 20. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Well, give him credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run and then execute it. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Well, he'll find Hall, and they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards to pick up there. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation. That's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little. And I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. 
And we all know how talented this guy is. He's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So here's Dustin Colquitt now to punt this away for the Chiefs. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So now here are the Giants as they'll get their first opportunity here. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They begin with a run by Barkley. Oh, what a move. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, it's sometimes a thing of beauty. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Now Sims. He finds his man complete. It's Tucker. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. Here's Sims. Throw there, going to be incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. And the Giants send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. now on first down. Screen pass to Charles. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. 
That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Oh, partner, when you see a screen pass and the defensive tackle ends up making the play, you know that one wasn't sold well at all because he should be upfield by the time you throw the pass. If not, you end up with big trouble, as we just saw right there. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them. They run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Throw left side complete. That's Hill. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. They'll run with Holmes. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. This time with Charles. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Going underneath for Charles. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man covers are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. On first down, Mahomes. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little gain. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. They run over center with Charles, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there at one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. Now here's Mahomes. And he's going to go down here a sack. They push him back to the 34. 
And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact, but that time they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. Butker's kick here is good, and the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. Well, both teams kind of feeling each other out here, and now after three drives, we have a score with that field goal. Yeah, they're still waiting for their breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals, but they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. First and ten, Sims. And his throw here is incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Back to throw. Sims. Throwing left side. It's complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And a good job here of getting the running backs involved in the passing game because they line him up out in the slot to the right. And they're hoping he won't get accounted for. And he's not turns into a big trouble for the defense, able to work his way free, and turns it into a big play. On first down, Sims, and he's got Shockey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. They'll look to throw again. This will be dumped off to Barber. And he's got this down to the 35. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the play fake, Sims. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great effort there. 35 yards. And the Giants are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. It used to be that if you were a big wide receiver, and the coaches wanted to make you a tight end, you resisted the move. Now it's almost a glamour position because they have the mismatch advantage. Are you going to cover them with a linebacker? They're probably faster. A defensive back, they're going to be bigger. Tight end is the new big-time position. PAT up and good by Rosas. 
And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience... How much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. There's Hall bringing in another one. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Just a yard to go here on second down. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They go play fake. Mahomes, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Here's Holmes. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. 
And the Giants are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, they tried to take their shot right there, but the ball hung up a little too long, and it's intercepted. And when you describe trying to take their shot right there, usually the ball has to be thrown out a little bit more of a line. You just mentioned it. The ball hung up there. The reaction time of the defenders, they win the day and intercept it. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it, the benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Shifts by him. And some room to work. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out. Give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told them, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. They go play action here on first down. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On second down, here's Barkley. A beautiful fake. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Throwing on first down. Sims. He's got his man, Cruz. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. On first and 10, Sims. He'll check this one down to Barber. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. To throw on second down. Sims setting up the screen here. It's Barber. 
Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. They'll run the draw with Barber. And he's brought down short. Two yards there. Needed four. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. So he needed the short yard as Charles he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go so you have to bounce it outside and some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case it didn't work here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He finds his man complete. It's Hall. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield equally good after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten from the gun it's Mahomes and his throw is incomplete well, we see him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half unable to connect on that one certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game though is part of their game plan it certainly is because he catches it well creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. And again, it's Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. JPP cruising in for the sack that time. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb.
A first down carry for Barkley. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. Because I remember playing in these spots, and my coach was always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles and when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day from the gun on third down sims and that will be incomplete how about some applause for the defense there they forced him to throw that one into coverage and just like that they're staring at a fourth down well done And the Giants send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Thirty-five yards that time on the punt. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. And now here comes Kansas City. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. Mahomes now on first down. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. In man coverage, your number one cardinal rule, don't get beat deep. And that's why the comeback route is so effective because that's how they're selling it, Brandon, taking you all the way upfield before breaking it back down. feet in bounds. That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. This caught, reception by Holmes. Well, first down screen pass, good for five. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Second and five. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. So pin that one on the rookie right tackle. Remember those days when the right side was simply the run blocking side? Now you're dealing with some of the better pass rushers in the league. It'll make you a little jittery. A false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Mahomes now to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Hall. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a gain of 15. First and 10. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game.
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. On target over the middle to Hill. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. To throw, it's Mahomes. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Mahomes going to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. On that snap, he's a hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. This is third and goal. And this Giants defense, they have withstood the test thus far. Throwing now is Mahomes. Steps away to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked and multiple players broke through the line to get him. And Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already. So you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Butker's kick here is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Here's Sims. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Finding space at the 40. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Now Sims. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. 
A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw. Sims. And a little floater there is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw again. And they'll let it go deep for Cruz. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, he'll drop to throw. Dance into his left. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. Online, but off the crossbar, no good. A long-range effort denied three points at the very end. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. It's a slant to Hill. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Mahomes now on first down. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Mahomes. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Giants are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. And that now, two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one.
on first down. Sims, a quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw. Sims. This goes to Barber, the running back. And down he'll go at the 25. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Looking to throw. Sims. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call but they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. And the Giants send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return, and they will take over first and 10. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Holmes has got it complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. First down, Mahomes. Wide open receiver complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That's good for 28 yards. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Butker's kick here is good, and they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. This one fielded at the five. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. 
So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for Kansas City. And they've definitely been able to exploit some holes in that opposing secondary as they threw for close to 200 yards in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they too were able to take advantage of a soft secondary as both of these two teams really threw the ball at will in that first half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Looking to throw on second down. Sims. And he's got Shockey. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ballgame now. And he's got a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often. But more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Back to throw, Sims. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. A couple of first downs right in succession. And this is an offense that can really use a good drive. And they're off to a fast start here. Side handoff. Oh, good move. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They go back to the ground. This time, Barber. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. 
Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Barber. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. And the Giants send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. play action it's Mahomes and his throw is going to be incomplete tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL but if you drop the football that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot a running back in that spot there are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball and that's not just his first drop his second drop of the game on second and ten Mahomes, and he'll find Hall. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Seven catches for him now, and this last one, a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Looking to throw is Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now an inside handoff for Charles. Gets past one man. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. And incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So the 
drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10, right at the 40. They'll set up to throw. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. Throw left side complete. That's Gonzalez. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 23. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds a big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. 23 yards for the touchdown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just haven't been able to punch it in until that point. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now out come the Giants. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. To throw on second down, Sims. It's complete to Cruz. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. Sims. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46.
He'll look to throw again. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. On second down, Barber. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. From the gun on third down, Sims got his man complete over the middle. It's Cruz. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 26. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Up the middle with Barkley. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. A run up the middle with Barber, and he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 16. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Here's a give to Barkley. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. 56 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? First and 10 at the 11. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Now he's got it. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Keep in mind, they can still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction and he was eager to go catch a pass. Looking to throw on second down. Sims. Flush to his right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. All about the offense so far this drive. Putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. And 
not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And it's caught. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. So a big one coming now for Aldrich Rosas from the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Rosas kick is good and the deficit trend to six now at 16 10. All right so they needed two scores to get back in the game the field goal there maybe not exactly what they wanted but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back preferably a takeaway. To the field goal. Here's Rosas to kick it away. And Hall not going to bring this one out. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. On target over the middle of the hill. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Here's a give, left side, it's Charles. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Top. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A first down carry here for Charles. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Mahomes throw caught by his receiver Hill and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled and they call his number again it's his sixth catch and a first down that's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other they've got a real rapport going and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play A 
couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Over the middle complete. That's Charles. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. On the move to his left. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pickup there, 21 yards. That's a nice explosive play there, and this defense told us we have to have our eyes right on their RPO sets, and they did not have their eyes right. I love that term, eyes right, meaning they have to be in the proper place and read your keys. And a smart-thinking guy running an offense can see when you break down on that, and he took full advantage of it. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. A run now with Holmes. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. The offense on third down, they've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and four. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. Well, the crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. After the false start, sets up a third and nine. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Holmes. And they'll get him down short of the first down, right on the 10-yard line. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. First down would have been nice, but now you get to kick the field goal, still go up two scores. They tried to get it, though, didn't they? Threw the pass, got the completion just short of the first down. But you're exactly right. Run the field goal unit out there, kick it, put it through the post, go up two scores. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. Butker's kick here is good, and that will make this a nine-point lead. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely... That was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. That's how we eat. It's one play at a time, baby. Yeah. 
Here's Sims. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now Sims. This will be dumped off to Barber. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Back to throw. Sims. Setting up the screen here. It's Barber. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll be fourth down. I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. KC's offense ready to take over. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away yeah i think here's the situation you're not thinking touchdowns anymore you're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away first downs they can't touch the ball from the 32 now here's first and 10. they'll start this drive out on the ground Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll run. This is Holmes. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They'll run with Holmes. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground. Far from it, but a critical third down conversion. His afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. It hasn't been his best in terms of yardage. But that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. Now a give, right side, Charles. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four on second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. That's complete. It's Charles. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Mahomes looks to throw on third down toward the sideline he will have the first down good catch he was able to keep the feet in bounds 
Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Now, well, here's the call. So the challenge there unsuccessful, and that means that he'll be out of challenges for the remainder of this ballgame. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Mahomes. It's caught to Charles. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 18. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Going underneath for Charles. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're on to something. And I think a lot of that is simply... If you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. They run over center with Charles. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away.
And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. The Giants now down by 12. And time, a huge factor. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Throwing to start the drive. Sims. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. I think we should put a stopwatch on that one. You talk about having all day to throw the football able to scan the field, find someone open after a long time. Big time credit to the offensive line for protection. That's what we used to call throwing out of the rocking chair. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Operating from the gun, Sims. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Cruz. Nine yards that time. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw again. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Late game situation, things seem to be unraveling just a little bit. And that's when you start forcing the football, mainly out of necessity. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete, nearly picked off. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. To throw again, Sims. And he's got Shockey. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Looking to throw. Sims. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock, however. 
I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah, you know, it doesn't feel right. Exactly. So the onside kick will come with 17 seconds to play. And the Chiefs have got it. And with that, they should have a victory as well. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. What a finish in this one, Charles. In this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win.